That is Kunel House from Kakanad. It's a 6,000 square feet four bedroom house. So let's hear the comments. Anna, what about the exterior landscape, form and character? The first thing that you notice about this house is a very high boundary wall. Uh, that might be good for the privacy of the house, but when you're sitting inside the house, it looks more like a fort. But they've made use of the uh, natural contours of the land. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a car park that's at a lower level, then the landscape goes up. They've even used the wall for putting potted plants, that's good. But a lot of cladding, here yeah, they have gone for the natural stone. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look that jarring, but I, again I would say it is a little on the higher side. Then they've clubbed a lot of wood, that they've gone for the traditional charavadi mm -hmm. in the sit out. Uh, so um, if stick with one style if they had stuck with it uh, it would have been better but the security cabin if you notice there are, there are a lot of lines it's too busy and it's too jarring and all that again uh, somewhere near the car park they've used different kinds of car cladding stones also it is an okay elevation and your opinion on that i, I think uh, they've tried to do uh, something in a very detailed way but it didn't work out like mm -hmm. she said there is a clash of whatever they were trying to do uh, it's called slow proof and I feel the slow proof kind of changes the angle at a point somewhere. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't uh, really uh, stand out as a specific character or, or mm -hmm. anything. Uh, it's just got slow proof with flat face gable lines. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, I think the stone cladding could have been gotten rid of it. Instead white paint would have made the house much bigger. And again the wooden cladding uh, and the uh, seats, the charibadi mm -hmm. in the entrance. Uh, they try to mix the traditional thing with the house. The house mm -hmm. is nowhere traditional, looks nowhere traditional. And then uh, I think we look into that wood a little more than that is required, that wooden area in the center. And then uh, they've used the levels, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. And the landscaping is pretty much limited to the edges of the wall, the tall compound wall, uh, mm -hmm. close to which they have some steps and the potter plants go on there. House looks really huge, but having just four bedroom for such a big house is uh, a little not proportionate. Okay. Uh, now coming to the interior flooring and kitchen. Interior, they've uh, done a lot on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. They've gone for wooden finish ceiling. If you notice, it is in the wavy pattern. It is a bit heavy for uh, something inside the house, but then they've tried something. Uh, the light fixtures, all of mm -hmm. them, I must say, are good light fixtures. Like uh, they've gone for very good light fixtures. Uh, you see, um, they've used laminated wood throughout the house. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the steps, I guess they had an issue when it came to the edges of the steps. So they've kept another beading on the edge of the okay. step, which doesn't look all that great and might be um, a dangerous thing to have something protruding at the end of the step like that. Uh, they have a very traditional kitchen and they have, I see they've used glass in the base cabinet. Okay. That might be a safety issue also because uh, uh, the bottom part of the kitchen cabinets we might end up you know uh, knocking, it, our, it legs. knocking our legs okay. or the utensils so that is something they need to address. They have uh, given a lot of niches in the bedroom wall uh, and with the light I'm not really a big fan of it but then the textured wall looks better with the blue light for here. They could have bought those details into the living dining and all okay. that there it's uh, Plain. So these are okay. the things. And Arun, what is your opinion? The interiors are not very, uh, very loud. Uh, mm -hmm. They have done very minimally, except some areas like the dining area, uh, where it's become dark. Mm -hmm. uh, there it's a little heavy. So uh, th probably there I would have gone for some more natural light. They have only had uh, more of artificial lighting there. And okay. then uh, the sofas in the upper floor, they are good. Means in front of the prayer. Okay. That, that is a nice uh, selection, but uh, they have arranged in a different way, straight. in a straight line, mm -hmm. uh, in front of the prayer, probably for the elder folk, uh, but it doesn't make a sense having uh, so much furniture in one place. Okay. Then uh, there is this wavy pattern fall ceiling in the dining area, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think is that great for a house. It's usually uh, done for public spaces like uh, hotels, pubs, etc. Mm -hmm. And then blue light, again I don't know if it works out with uh, this kind of interior. Okay. Uh, the bedrooms uh, are done very minimally, it's not done very heavily, there are some niches and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel the wardrobe for the master bed was really small, means for a house of this scale, uh, having a bedroom and then having a wardrobe that small would not be a proportional thing. 
Okay. So that, that again, it comes back to a choice. Means, uh, probably they needed that much only. Then uh, kitchen again. Make sure you are selling the glass in the lower part. It's going to be mm -hmm. uh, difficult to work with. The kitchen looks big. Okay. We have done uh, made use of the space, and uh, I don't uh, know if the texture on the uh, side on the one side of the wall, uh, on the window wall, is that great because kitchen tends to get uh, dusty and dirty mm -hmm. and oil. Splats right. and things like that. So yeah. it will be difficult to clean. Uh, the home theatre is the uh, highlight of the house. They have got some great designers to do the home theatre. Okay. So that, that's a big...